Okay, guys, we got some new alleged reports coming out of North Carolina and Tennessee. And since the mainstream news is not covering this, we definitely have to go with il alleged reports. This is all alleged, but this is new news, and it's extremely important, so pay attention. Not only do we have the complete devastation in the homeless issue, people are without homes, they are without power, but now they are getting sick. Apparently, there is a nuclear fuel station about an hour and a half outside of Asheville. Now, originally, they had said that there were training barrels that had got washed away into the river, into the water. However, they are now allegedly stating that these were not training barrels. And it was actually a semi full of nuclear fuel that got buried 10 to 20 feet under the mud. So they have verified that this truck is in the water, in the mud with all of these barrels of fuel. Now, that is not to say that is what is making people sick. However, it could definitely be contributing to it. You've got sewers that have ruptured. You've got just um, dead animals, dead bodies, and everything is contaminated. So allegedly, there is about 60 people up on the mountain right now that are sick with something that they just don't know what they're sick with. Um, a man that brought 10 cadaver dogs to the Carolinas now has four dead dogs and six actively dying. Um, the horses that were brought out of the river, they were also very sick. And so they started doing blood work on these animals and finding out that they have all kinds of stuff in their blood. They are very sick. So not only are we dealing with complete devastation, now we are dealing with contamination that is making the animals and the people sick, allegedly. So I needed to get this out to you. We need to spread this far and wide. Stay out of the mud. If you can stay out of the mud, stay out of the mud. Stay away from the water. It is contaminated. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for now, guys. And as I progress with this story, I will update you guys. Stay safe. Godspeed. Talk to you soon. There is something going on with North Carolina. They have everybody distracted on everything else, but there's something going down. It has been unlike any other deployment we've ever been on. Absolutely unprecedented. Number one, because a hurricane in Appalachia is unexpected, right? The topography is was already challenging. There are people with boots on the ground that are saying something totally opposite than what the media is telling everyone. This is nothing new, but there's something different this time. It's the only one I've ever worked that the federal government is actively working against recovery. Do not mistake this as fear mongering. We have to spread awareness so that people can prepare. It tells me they've got something to hide. And I believe that they do have something to hide because we're already getting reports, firsthand reports of cadaver dogs that are dying. And now with all these going up. Uh, was building, well, allegedly FEMA, we're not sure who's building these things. But let me just show you, you can see these pictures above my head, tornado shelters. These are located in North Carolina. They were sent to me by a resident. Apparently they are blocked off now. You cannot see these anymore because of a protective fence. Yeah. I'm wondering, what is this? Is this something uh, that you guys have seen cropping up? Uh, I'm talking to everyone in America. Have you guys seen similar shelters like this? Mainstream media is done. We are the news now. I am here to anchor love and light, but also spread awareness. And this needs to be shared. And uh, it's a camp that popped up in a matter of days. We actually stopped by some of the locals that live around here. And we were asking them about it. And they said it's FEMA camp and it's being leased. Uh, it's property that belongs to a trucking company, they thought. It's owned by the Smoky Park LLC. I'm going to flip the camera around here in a minute. But it's got armed guards. This is what we do next. We gather as a people. We do not rely 
on all of these agencies. We're done with them. It is us now. And this is precisely what we do. We've been flying, uh, obviously, the entire week, flying to do effective communities. And uh, my son and I were the first planes into two different communities this week. And seeing the the smiles and the hope that you that these supplies bring to those communities is truly amazing. Uh, if you guys see this side of it, you see the donation side of it, I wish you could see the people that we're actually donating the, the supplies to. It is truly amazing. And these are communities that are completely cut off. Some have been completely wiped out. Um, I mean, there we had people coming out of the airport helping us unload stuff and take it directly to the people in need. Still yet, another major story and theory is that in the aftermath, the government wants to take the land away from the owners to control those mountain areas because they have large deposits of lithium, the largest in the country, perhaps the world, and other minerals necessary to make electric car batteries and weapon systems. The problem with that is that the government must have justifiable reasons to take private property. Even if they invoke eminent domain, the owners must be adequately compensated. But of interest, uh, Kamala Harris's husband, Doug Imhoff, is a shareholder along with BlackRock in lithium mining, and he applied for a lithium mining permit on September 24th. Think about that for a second. He applied for a lithium mining permit on September 24th. Think about that for a second.